Hello everyone. For some reason, I tend to want to do a confessional every once in a while on this thing. <laughs> Who would ever thought? This is why the Catholic Church is taking the back seat because the gig was going to be up anyway. We got these phones to talk to. What the hell we need to sit up and tell you in the booth for? Tell you, might as well tell the world because anytime somebody knows something outside of me knowing it, it's a danger. So I don't care what God they telling you that they are accountable to and following. They be breaking rules. And they can be breaking rules with your information. Because I bet you say the wrong thing up in there. You be wondering why the feds be at your crib. But anywho, I decide that I'm going to confess today. Now, what I'm about to say might piss some people off. And this will be my family members. But I, I got to come clean with it. I think everybody in the family got an eating problem. They have an eating disorder. They think about eating. This is what they do. And I'm going to tell you why. It dawned on me today, like I said before, sometimes I be talking about random stuff. It's random to you. It ain't to me. It's been stuff going on in the background. You can't see that lead up to this. When I be watching the clumps, dog, like not even funny, I be hollering. And not even for reasons that people think. It's because, dog, that's my people. They are just Eddie Murphy's depiction of my people, dog. And I know they be mad. Because they're not looking at what I'm looking at. They're looking at the clumps. They're looking at the presentation. You know, we got to find something to be mad about. Zoom in on it. Don't we? I like food. I ain't going to lie to y'all. You done seen these arms. You know what's up. It's a battle, baby. I'm talking about a battle. And sometimes I feel like I'm going down in it. Ooh, man down. Somebody call 911. I, that's how I be feeling. I be like, man, down, baby. Whoo, because some shit. You know, you get excited about certain shit. Like, for instance, I was told that there was a buffet in Florida. Orlando, to be exact. That's right. Orlando, Florida. The home of the amusement parks. You can go in there and get unlimited lobster, crab legs, and other interesting nice food items. I said, what? Unlimited lobster? Baby, when do we book a trip? Now, to some people... You going on the trip for some food? I tell you what, the shit ain't here. When you go out of town, you go to experience some shit you can't experience here. Why you want to judge me? Because mine happens to be food. Yeah, if I happen to bump into some other exciting shit, I'm good with that too. But initially, if it's based on how many lobster tails I'm going to get versus the ones I can get here, it is what it is. I'm just saying. I'll sit up there and not be comfortable with who you are but i'm comfortable with who i am baby because <laughs> at the end of the day what can a person really do to me based on who i am <laughs> if you gonna eat me see all of that's unnecessary it's too early in the day and see what i'm saying and this one going on too i turned on this camera y'all think i'll be lying eventually you're gonna pick it up and be like she's been telling the truth the whole time somebody stay on some bullshit around here it's time for bed i mean i'm doing seven o'clock but you're doing all that you need to go ahead and go to bed the lights ain't even out i'm recording at a decent hour it's not like i'm like recording at 10 30 or some shit when y'all really have it popping I'm early in the day. You want to stir my shit? Anywho. And I begin to analyze because sometimes who you are and the things you battle, it comes from somewhere. So when you get to analyzing yourself, how did I get this way? How did I get to the point where I'm in a full-fledged love affair with food? And then I thought about it. My family may, listen, the biggest part of any event is the food. It's like this, right? You should have came to so-and-so house because they had this to eat and that. Not what went on, not what they talked about, not who might have got a breakthrough, who might have recovered, anything. It's, it's about that food. Can you hey, I'm, you got to taste this. Not a word, not a breakthrough, not an invention, food. When your people will sit up and get sharp as a tack and your driver's seat tired for some food. <laughs> Baby, it's a celebration, ain't it? Think about it. When you get bad, you feeling yourself. If feeling yourself was a person, it'd be you. When you dress like that, it's a celebration. Is it not? Okay. But my people will do it, though. I I'm just telling you what it is. But now, me, that's where we defer. <laughs> I'm going to eat good, but I'm going to wear what I'm going to wear. I don't have to dress up for it. What's going to go down is some eating. I'm concentrating on that. I ain't worried about the attire. Because at the end of the day, food can get messy. I don't want it messing up what I got going on. I want to be comfortable. Ain't nobody trying to sit up 
and eat like I'm anorexic or something. No offense to you guys, but I'm just saying. I didn't say that with malice. But you know what I mean? Well, I'm on some dumbass new diet. I'm sitting up there sucking in my face and my abs and shit. I don't have that to do, boo. <laughs> Let me go ahead and save you the suspense. That... I don't have to do. When I read today, y'all, when I read that the casinos is going to cancel all smoking, I don't care about that, and the buffets, because that means to me that the seafood buffet ain't, I don't, I don't care about the rest of it, but I happen to like, excuse me, unlimited crab legs and cream brulee. I happen to like that kind of stuff. I don't know what that makes me or how you judge me, what category you gonna put me in after this. Not that I give a flying fluke, but I'm just telling you. That shit about broke my heart. I was about to have to call my friend. I was about to have to call Kermit, like, boo, Kermit. Baby, you, um, <sighs> are they canceling? You mean to tell me Monday nights we can't? Is this for real? Did you? Well, was I delusional? Maybe I'm sick. Maybe I'm on some medication I'm not aware about. That's how I was feeling. But <laughs> I was talking to my husband about some food. And he got to go on with the, like some hotline, call a hotline or some shit for people who be de eating too much. And I just started screaming. I said, this man is the funniest man I've ever met in my life. He really is. I know y'all might not believe me, but I'm telling you the man is crazy. Just because he don't sit up here and be on my stuff all the time talking, that man is insane. He is stupid. I almost flipped up out of the bed. Like, I'm sitting on the edge of the bed, I almost flipped back. <laughs> He's stupid. What do you mean? He like, no offense. But I had to tell him, I said, you really are hilarious. Like, it's something going on. Like, I have never met anybody so funny. I said, have you ever... I told him, I said, there's people out there that will start talking and you just want to punch them in the mouth. Just shut up. Just punch them. And they be thinking they so funny. And mind you, funny is subjective. Who I think funny, you might not think is funny. You know? Like, there's people that really like Chris Rock. I like Dave Chappelle. I like Cat Williams. You might think Cat Williams is trash. I think he's hilarious. I love Bernie Mac. Steve Harvey makes me chuckle. D.L. Hughley is funny to me as well. I'm sorry I ain't say nobody new. Maybe it's my age or something. Maybe I'm telling my age, but they funny. I'm just saying. The man's funny. He just not that type that's just like, oh, he really think he fun. He think he cute, though. He, he, ha, ha, hell. About to catch this fade. He ain't like that. I wouldn't even marry nobody like that. I can't be in a relationship. See, some people do that. They marry people knowing they want to pop them in the mouth just to say that they married. I, I can't do that. I can't live like that. That's too much stress. Life comes with its own set of stress. I'm not about to sit up and add more to the pile. And then all of that is based on the energy that you're drawing out there and what you perceive life. I, I give you that, but still should be happening. Wherever, However, whatever the energy behind it, whatever alakazam is going on, it be some shit going down. <laughs> I don't need no extra, so I damn sure ain't gonna choose no baby. Stay with me, stay woke. That's my confession, y'all. We some eating individuals. We are. I'm talking about sharp. I'm talking about Easter Sunday back in the 80s and early 90s sharp. Just, you doing the most. You going to church to give somebody else some money in the name of the Lord, and you just doing so much. Baby, can I come in there with some slack? I might wear the color yellow or pink or something. And a tank top. It don't have to be no string one. Just a tank. How cool with that? Little sandals, some little wedge sandals on. Mm-mm. <laughs> you be thinking people was going to the Met Gala, baby. It, it's Easter Sunday. What? We over there going in a panic, trying to find out who's going to do our hair. Some of us last minute, we calling the last person we know that will accept our last minute ass to do our hair because we got to be right for Easter Sunday. You better have your outfit right. No, I'm talking about, remember when we was kids, you had the ruffly socks on them, patent leather shoes with the strap going across it. And the dresses was just had so much fluff and feathers, your ass could have flapped and flew the fuck on. I remember them days. I don't care if I'm telling my age, baby. That's my truth. Check my ID, hell. I don't care. It is what it is. I ain't gonna sit up and lie to y'all. Talking about I'm in my early 20s. 
No offense to the 20 year olds, but I love my age. Because, you know, when you're 20, you do some dumb ass shit. I'm telling you. In your 20s, you be thinking you so smart. Ooh, child, you be so dumb. I'm grown. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Oh, but this life will, baby. It's going to tell you everything you need to know. Keep on living. <laughs> and then some. And some you still going to need to learn. Life will come and Mike Tyson your ass. And you know why I always use Mike Tyson? Because he's the best. That's why. In his 50s, he's still crazy. With them hands. I ain't talking about his mental status. I'm talking about them hands. So life will come and give you an uppercut. T-K-O. That's how life comes. It'd be like TKO. <laughs> Yo, ass right up out of here. Mm -mm. You see all of this mayhem in the back? What, what is this shit about? Y'all love to get it cracking. It's unpredictable. Y'all really like to get it cracking. I see why some people move in the sticks, but you know, do you have cell reception out there? Because I ain't trying to do that. You can't win either way. It's going to be some stuff, ain't it? You live on the cuff of the city, it's going to be cracking. And if you live in the sticks, it's just going to be you. That's it. I don't know, y'all. I think I done said enough. I done ran out as far as I'm concerned. I really did it this time. So, we be eating and shit. We might need to go see somebody. I try to handle it on my own. But I don't know if yoga and meditation is going to get me up out of this one. I don't know. But then again, it's a mind state, right? So, it's still on me. Hmm. Thank y'all for watching.